I'm having a number of uh, more advanced uh, lifters come up and uh, ask me about the uh, Golgi tendon reflex. And uh, this can be a very complicated uh, subject if uh, explained scientifically. So uh, what I want to do is try to explain it in layman's terms. The uh, Golgi tendon reflex is the body's mechanism for safeguarding a muscle when it's uh, asked to lift more than it can truly lift. Now the, uh, the muscle tapers into a tendon and where that muscle tapers into the tendon is what we would call the Golgi organ. And the purpose of the Golgi organ is to pick up a signal that the muscle is being overloaded and then it sends that signal to the central nervous system. Now once the central nervous system receives the signal there's a a variety of uh, tasks that take place and it gets really complicated but uh, the result is, is that the muscle is lengthened or relaxed and uh, I mean it's automatic it just happens in a fraction of a second and uh, it safeguards the muscle. The muscle uh, uh, that's being contracted automatically relaxes and prevents injury. Now the Golgi tendon reflex has its limitations. Uh, the load that the muscle is asked to do can be so great that the Golgi tendon reflex doesn't work and the injury occurs. So it has its limitations. There were some studies done in 1967 that uh, indicated that the uh, Golgi tendon reflex actually works uh, not only on uh, severe loads but it responds to uh, um, slight to medium loads so uh, that's going to be key to what we're going to talk about next okay so what's the point of all this well this is applied to power lifting to advanced power lift there's not too many people know about this but um, for example um, it, this is called facilitated stretching now. So uh, if I'm going to uh, increase my squat, uh, I want to get lower with my squat. And uh, one way to do that is to uh, gradually uh, put more load on the muscle, uh, gradually in the workout and gradually over, over time, over uh, several months, uh, by going lower, uh, by increasing the weight. Um, and you'll, uh, you'll cause that Golgi tendon reflex to kick in if you do it very gradually and you'll lengthen that muscle. And then by lengthening the muscle, you'll be able to have a larger contraction on the way up. So, so you'll increase your, uh, your squat, say, over time. So um, it's uh, something that you have to do with great care and with great patience. But it does, it does pay off and uh, you know, you're going to have to have spotters. Uh, if you're going to go lower and heavier and uh, and you know don't be in a hurry because you will get hurt now John Perillo at Perillo Performance in Ohio has uh, designed a squat platform in which you would wear a uh, a belt from which uh, plates are suspended and then the plates actually would uh, be lowered through a hole in the platform and then the lifter actually holds on to some handles in front of himself and of course you've got a spotter in back and, and, and spotters on the sides 
And uh, he, that, that lifter is able to go very, very low, lower than you could go with a, a back squat with a power bar. And uh, since you're in the center of gravity, you're going to be able to lift more weight. Therefore, you know, like I said, over, over several months, your uh, back squat with a straight bar is actually going to go up due to this.